No one just like us. Dale Yeager is a forensic profiler and criminal behavior analyst here now to potentially shed some light on what might have happened here. Dale, thank you very much for being here. How does someone with no priors escalate so quickly to this kind of behavior? Well, first of all, we don't we don't know what his behavior has been. It just means that there's never been an investigation or arrest. Right. Um, just because someone hasn't been, you know this, someone hasn't been arrested doesn't mean they haven't been involved in bad behavior. Sure. Um, obviously, from, from the evidence, it, it's clear that he was stalking her at some point because the car was seen around the home where she was staying. Um, so ultimately, uh, you know, I think what is the evidence clearly shows that he went uh, to try to interact with her as a young male would. Um, she rejected him. That angered him. Uh, then she talked about calling the police, uh, which certainly is something that he didn't want to happen. And then uh, he got angry and, and enraged. It's a, it's a pretty simple progression. Yeah, but, but I mean, I, I, mean I, I can see, I guess, why you say that. But to me, you know, when someone is, you know, likes someone or is following them or is interested in them, to have that escalate to what happened to this poor young woman, um, it, it seems striking. I mean, you, you look back at some of these other cases, right? I mean, for instance, the Kate Steinle case, which, which we have talked about, is very different. I mean, that, that was, you know, sort of, yeah. a, it appears to have been just a crazy man who's firing off a gun. But this, we don't know even the object. It says a sharp force object. And we yeah. also, there's no evidence that there was any sort of sexual assault. We may find out that there was, but at this point, it doesn't appear that there was. Right. You know, just add some of that up for us. Well, first of all, he's following her in a car. This is, this is not normal flirtatious behavior. This is stalking behavior. Mm -hmm. So um, d despite what his relatives say or what, what his uh, employer says, you don't know what's going on in his mind. Yeah. And if he's in his, he, he's a young male in his 20s, one of the factors that has to be talked about, and this always gets me criticized, is the issue of pornography. Mm -hmm. So what's happening a lot of times in the, because I teach sex crime investigation for the federal government, for the HIDA program, what we find is the impetus is the pornography, the fantasy uh, becomes a, an obsession, and then the person is obsessing on that and wants to actually act on it. And this is not a conservative or a liberal issue. This is scientific fact. And so we don't know what was going on in his mind, but we can see from his behavior that this was very aggressive behavior. This was not normal flirtation. Not at all. Uh, you're following and, and her in a car. You, you, yeah, and as you point out, that kind of thing would probably show up on laptops or any kind of computer equipment that he had, and no doubt that's all part of the no. investigation. We're, we're going to learn a lot more. He said he blacked out. What do you make of that? <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's kind of like the Chris Watts defense. Um, it's very convenient to black out uh, when you're talking about the actual crime, the actual action of the crime. Um, I don't think that that's true, obviously unless he has a medical condition, unless he was doing drugs or alcohol. Um, that's just not reality. It sounds like something a defense attorney would come up with uh, to black out. And he knows all these details before and after the fact. Yeah. Very detailed uh, description. Absolutely. But he doesn't remember that specific thing. I mean, come on. Yeah. No, he, um, as you say, he talks in nonsense. horrific detail about putting her over right. his shoulder and carrying her into the cornfield yeah. and leaving her there face up. It's, it's horrifying and, and awful. Yeah. Um, and his memory, as a great point, is very clear on so many of those details. Uh, Dale, thank you very much. Good to have your insight here tonight. Thank we you appreciate for having it. me.